Hey, what's up guys? This is XX Horseshoe doing a tutorial on how to, uh, I think it's record multiple audio sources to like one track. Uh, DX Story can do this if you link it up with Virtual Audio Cable. Virtual Audio Cable is a program that will create extra sound sources so that way you can relay sound to them and record them separately. So the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to go to your Internet Explorer and you're going to download these two programs. The one's called DX Story, the other one's called Virtual Audio Cable. Okay, so, um, alright. So, DX Story, of course, is called DX Story. Go to the website, download it. I'm not going to run through the installation procedure, but it's very straightforward. Virtual Audio Cable is about the same, but the website's a little different to look at. and download trial version or you can buy it or torrent it, I don't care. All right, so once you have both of these installed and ready to go, you're going to go to your playback devices and you're just gonna have a look. You will, you will not have any of these audio cables. Be, they will be called cable one and two, but they're not even here yet. They won't be, won't be there. So, so uh, yeah. Uh, you should have your default speakers set to default your microphone that you usually use set to default as well. Unfortunately my cursor is being showed I'm pretty sure. Can I enable that? Um, you're just gonna have to take your best guess at where my cursor is at all times. Okay so there should be a program called control panel. If you're Windows 7 just uh, search up control panel. You need to open it up. So once you have control panel set up you should have these cables up the top. See where I'm clicking? You should have these cables up the top set to two. Set those two cables, set that to two, hit set. Set the bottom right. <coughs> yeah, hit set at the bottom right. And you should have two cables. Now, if you click this, go back, playback. You should have two cables set right here. It should be called cable one and cable two. So for cable one, we are going to go in, we'll rename it to system, no, we'll rename it to voice chat volume. So say you want to record a Skype call while you're doing a gameplay, you sure can. All right, so you need to go to Skype next, open up your Skype options and go to speakers. So in speakers, you will set your system volume to, you guessed it, system volume. No, no, no. You're going to set it to voice chat volume, right there, and you're going to save it. So now that you have voice chat volume set up, whenever anyone talks, it will be put into the voice chat channel, so it's right here, and you will not be able to hear it yet. So once you go under the recording, which is right next to playback, the recording is right here. Okay, getting back to it, um, so since you have voice chat in here, you're going to go to properties of that voice chat. <coughs> <laughs> Alright, then go to listen, and listen to device. So you're going to go to your default playback speaker, which is your D35 headset in my case, and you're just going to select that. Hit OK. Now when you go back to voice chat volume on the playback, you're just going to click the properties of that. Then you're going to go to advanced and hit test. If you hear that noise, you should be good to go. That means that Skype is being relayed to your headset. Next step is to just click on system volume and hit set as default. Go to recording and go to system volume and properties and then listen with your G35 headset. And just make sure that you can hear that. I don't think I'll be able to hear it because it's really fucking useless. Nope, nope, I can hear it. So now you have properly set up your virtual audio cable for usage with um, stuff and the things. All right, so now we open up the XTory for the first time. When you have the XTory opened up, you should have a profile named nothing, probably. So you'll go to your folder, which is called folder, and you're going to hit add folder 
pick a folder that you'd like your files to go to whenever you record. Hit this write button. You should have a write speed of between about 60 and 120. If you don't, then that's not good for recording at all because then you can't record any high quality. If you're not recording a high quality gameplay, it's not a big deal. But if you're recording, like, say, a Battlefield, like, 3, you're gonna need, like, 80 megabytes a second or 100. Unfortunately, Battlefield 3 uses a lot of write speed at the same time, so you might have troubles if you're recording to the same hard drive, which I am, so it is kind of troublesome at times. So in your codec menu, you're just going to hit the configuration dialog box, and you're just gonna set it to medium, because it's not a huge difference and it won't be as intensive on your hard drive so that way you can record and not have low frames so here's the important part in your audio settings you're just going to go to one and you're going to set it to your system volume two you're going to set it to your voice chat volume and three you're going to set it to your microphone volume so now you have all different channels set up and your recording sound for all three of them and now you should be able to record no problem I'm just going to, yeah. None of these settings really matter, it just really depends on what it, whatever your system specs are, if you have like SLI set up or something crazy. Uh, I hope this helped. If you liked it, like it. Um, I like to stream, if you want to watch my stream that'd be great. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. Also make sure this is set to file, but 